Hey guys, how's it going? Andy Grossman here with Pew Pew Nation. And I'm going to do something a little different for you guys today. Uh, I'm going to customize the Ruger pistol caliber carbine. So I have two pistol caliber carbines here, the PCCs. Um, this is the original version with the more of a rifle style. It's just a polymer uh, stock on there. I did a couple things to this. This was my first one I had. This is the Midwest Industries um, PCC handguard that I threw on the front there. Uh, it gives you the rail, so that's pretty cool. So I put the Inforce um, light on there. The Arrow Precision, uh, this is the Gamma 9mm VG6 uh, muzzle device on the front of this thing. So I did a couple things to it, and I was pretty happy with it. But then Ruger decided to mix it up, and they came out with a new version. So this one is more of the AR style. Um, I like the hand, the, the pistol grip on there. Uh, adjustable stock, which is awesome. Has a little more aggressive look. Came with this forend on it, which I don't like this forend, unfortunately, because it has no iron sights for one thing where the other one did. And it looks goofy because if you can see there, it's hard to tell in the video, but the barrel is higher than the, it's not in the center of the handguard. It drives me crazy. I don't like how far forward the handguard comes on this thing. I'm just not a big fan of it. So what I've discovered is that they are literally the same gun. Um, so you can pop the front off of the new um, lower, the new serialized part. And I can pop the guard off of my original one, which has the um, M-Lock uh, uh, Midwest Industries 4 grip on it and all my accessories, all that good stuff. And the boring old basic um, rifle looking back end there. So we're going to put that off to the side. And we're actually going to put this one off to the side as well. I'm just going to stick it in there for now. Um, and now I have old meets new, but I don't really like that setup. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to put these two together. And this will be my, my gun. But that's not all. I'm not done accessorizing yet. So I just got the Volkertsen Firearms PCC, the TG9 trigger system and I have not put this thing in yet obviously um, but super easy it's a drop-in um, as you can see drop-in trigger so uh, let's take this thing apart and drop a new trigger in it I'll show you guys how to do it which it's very very easy by the way take the fore end off of that thing is removable which is awesome the PCC is an excellent excellent gun so really to do this you only need a couple tools it's really really easy um, I have a what size is this this is a 3 16 um, Allen and it comes off you take the pistol grip off just like an AR you would. Stick it down the back of the grip there. Pull the Allen screw out. That goes out. There we go. And then you just pop that grip off like that. The screw is inside there. There's your Ruger pistol grip. So that came off pretty easily. And then all you have left is you got to drop your bit size down from the, um, whatever that was. What the hell was that? That was the three, the three sixteenths. You drop that down to a five thirty second, and then you have to take out three bolts total, three screws. So you have one underneath here with that brass washer around it. You got to pop that off of there. This bolt 
this screw is the smaller one so you don't remember or you don't forget where it goes uh, make sure you keep track of that and you flip this thing over and you got to take that guy out right there same thing and you can see this holds this little trigger um, holds this piece on right here it's like the little accessory that holds that pistol grip um, so pull that screw all the way out it's a big long screw and that piece will fall right off just like that set that aside and then the last screw that you have is right inside that guy right there you pull that out and that is the last one holding this little polymer housing on this thing um, which will also allow the that guy looks like that full thread and that will allow this piece to pop right off here so you got that little polymer um, housing set that aside and then your stock just kind of pops off right here set that guy aside and now you're left with your trigger housing this is your factory trigger housing so to take this out literally all it is is these two let's see if you can get a pointer here these two pins you got one there and one there these pins have like no pressure on them because they're um watch i can just push this thing straight out <laughs> i don't know if you guys saw that um there's literally no pressure on it because it's all held in by that uh by this piece the polymer piece the little lower hand guard i guess you can call it so you pop those pins out just like that set those aside and your entire trigger assembly comes right out so there you have your factory trigger assembly it's made out of polymer um once you get it out it's pretty damn cheap looking as you can see and then when you look at the upgrade this is the upgrade here to the uh, Valkwitzen firearms trigger drop-in trigger you can see it's much better aluminum housing um here's the two side by side it's just <laughs> it's way better the trigger itself the shoe looks amazing um it says it's about a one and a half to two pound trigger pull i believe it was a 2.25 i'm sorry 2.25 pound trigger pull with a super short reset from what i understand so we're going to stick this thing back in there and it goes back in the way that it, the other one came out you literally just line that up and you can see those holes right there that one and that one um get those lined up so you can see through them make sure everything is square like so hold it in your pins should just push pretty much right back in you might have to tap them a little bit just to make sure um there we go so that pin pushed right in no problem and then the same thing with this one should do the same <laughs> it's so easy they go right in um they're almost falling out themselves and, it, and like i said it doesn't matter you don't have to worry about that because after you do that you're going to take your where is it you got to take your hand guard first and your hand guard kind of slides in the back here and just it just sits there so you got to hold it kind of be a contortionist here take your um your housing obviously make sure it's the right way and you're going to push your housing down make sure the hand guard stays in there and then the housing will actually hold the hand guard in in a second here come on just gotta get everything lined up and then it'll drop right in or drop it <laughs> because those pins are so loose they just come right out so you got to make sure those pins stay in that's what was holding me up here there we go all right so now that's in there so you can hold all that together and then what i am going to do is i'm going to take the small front screw and we're going to stick that front screw back in there um, because this is going to kind of secure everything a little bit at least so that we don't have to hold it so we'll get that back in there pull 
and tighten that down like that. And then your next screw that goes in is your fully threaded, the smaller fully threaded one. And that one goes back into the trigger housing there to hold all that together. That one's a little harder to get in to actually thread it all the way. So screw that in and that's going to secure your um, the back half of this and the hand and the uh, stock, the adjustable stock. And so torque that down pretty good. So now we're back together here. So now the last part, guys, is we have this weird little piece, little aluminum piece um, that literally just sits here. It just kind of hangs out. And what you do is you put that on there, get it lined up like so. Um, I'll show you guys again that thing just it just sits there like that. So you got to hold it, flip this thing back over. And then the super long one, threaded one, goes through the top hole. I'll show you guys that. So the long one goes right in that top hole right there. And you just got to kind of feel around and get it started. And that is actually threading into this piece here. So get that thing started. Again, tighten it down. Get that thing nice and tight. So you got your gun is back together here, guys. Pretty much uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, it looks like it took me about eight minutes or so probably to do that. Uh, then I take my pistol grip and you just kind of kind of clicks into place there. You can see pistol grips back on. Throw that uh, pistol grip uh, screw back in there. I'm trying to do this one hand and it's not easy. So get that back in there, hold that grip down. There we go. Tighten it down. There we go. And there you guys go. So now I have the, <laughs> so what I have here is actually my old fore end with all my accessories, my Midwest rail, um, handguard and all that Midwest industries, handguard and all that good stuff. And I like that it has the iron sight. So I have a backup if I want, um, pop that bad boy back in there. And I have a complete rifle. We got to feel this trigger here. Oh man. Let's see if you guys can see this thing. That's it. Oh, dang, is this thing nice. Yeah, that's a definite huge improvement. So here you guys go. I'm going to pull it with my thumb so you can see how, how this thing pulls and how, how the movement. There's literally, that's the over-travel. That's the pre-travel. And that's it. That's the break. And then the reset on this thing. I'm holding it back with my thumb so you guys can see the reset. Oh, <laughs> yeah looks like it's sweet so i'm pretty excited um i'm definitely gonna go out and shoot this thing now i have the best of both worlds i have the the iron sights i have this true glow on here um just a cheap little true glow i don't even know what model this is i had it sitting in my safe but i put this high riser on it and i don't know if you can see you can i can actually look underneath that riser and be able to witness my um, iron sights as well. So now I have a Ruger pistol caliber carbine, the PCC, that is completely customized with that new uh, Volkertsen firearms trigger system, which I think they're the only ones that make one right now. Completely customized. So I actually technically have two of these guns, like I said before, um, and I combined them. So this is the the old stock system with the new foregrip and, and barrel and all that good stuff and i didn't really like the setup of that and it's the exact same gun so i just swapped out my stuff so now i have a completely custom let's see i got a nine mil magazine sitting here that is the ruger pcc customized 100 percent. i don't think you can get any other accessories for this i'm sure you could change out the uh the stock which i'm actually going to look into because it looks like you can 
put a um, collapsible on there, which would be pretty sweet. You give this thing just a little bit shorter. Um, I mean, you're gonna, you know, you'd end up with with that as your gun, pretty much. Pretty pretty cool. So um, we'll see what I can do with that. Maybe I'll do another video if I find one that works with it. But thanks for watching, guys. If you liked this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and leave us a comment. Tell us how we're doing here. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, at PewPewNation. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.